in this afternoon, everyone, in this seminar, I am going to talk about the key role of the hydrogen cyanide molecules in ACM, in prebiotic chemistry, and also about the growing interest of the hydrogen cyanide derived polymers in material science. The new properties of shares in this polymeric system could enrich the prebiotic chemical space to discover new protobiological reaction network. The hydrogen cyanide present a high interest in astrobiology because it's a ubiquitous molecule in the universe. These compounds can undergo polymerization reaction under multiple conditions, increasing in this way the molecular organic complexity of the prebiotic environments, as I am going to explain in this talk. Hydrogen has cyanide has been observed in the interstellar medium, in the atmosphere of several planets of the solar system, also in, solar, in some Saturn moon, such as Titan, Phoebe, Japetus, and more recently in the space of Enceladus water plumes. In a terrestrial context, several studies have been conducted to estimate the production and concentration of hydrogen cyanide in the early Earth bonds, in hydrothermal system, and in the ocean atmosphere. But why hydrogen cyanide is considered a key compound in the studies about the origin of life? Why is hydrogen cyanide a prebiotic reagent? Well, a compound is considered as prebiotic reagent when it is available in adequate concentration on the primitive air of earthenware, and it can lead to the formation of more complex molecules through compatible reaction with the geochemical and geophysical constraint of a particular environment, a planet or the interstellar medium. This prebiotic trait formation most likely it occur in water, oceans, lagoons, or lakes, or in solid state condition. Thus, hydrogen cyanide is able to uh, polymerize spontaneously, leading to very complex organic matrix under a great range of condition in an interval of pH from 8 to 10. When its concentration is upper 0, 0 0.01 molar. In summary, hydrogen cyanide can produce in one pore reaction a lot of interesting organic compounds such as amino acids, heterocycles containing nitrogen and composite acids. That's it. Hydrogen cyanide could be a precursor of the main building block of the current biochemistry. However, for the prebiotic generation of this bioorganic from hydrogen cyanide, it's necessary to find relatively high concentration of this compound in geological settings. Taking in mind that hydrogen cyanide is more volatile than water, concentrate solution cannot be obtained by evaporation if the pH is lower than 9.2. So, is it possible to obtain concentrated solution of hydrogen cyanide in natural prebiotic environments? The answer seems to be yes. Some options are the following. Cool it at the detecting point for formation of ferrocyanide, use of mineral surface, evaporation in alkali environments, and floating parties. On a brief historical note, the first to point out the possible role of hydrogen cyanide as a prebiotic reagent was Flucher towards the end of the 19th century. However, it was the oral adenine synthesis. The inflection point in the focus research of hydrogen cyanide polymerization chemistry. Since then, aqueous alkaline hydrogen polymerization has been considered a preferential abiotic group for the prebiotic synthesis of nucleobases. And the interest of hydrogen cyanide polymer has been connected directly with the problem of prebiological molecular evolution. In this line, Oro and Kamat 
also demonstrated the production of amino acids under possible primitive air condition using, using hydrogen cyanide and ammonium. And Matthews and Moser proposed the direct synthesis of peptides from net hydrogen cyanide and anhydrous ammonia. Note that this Matthews uh, mother was hard discussed by Ferris. From this pioneering work, numerous studies were carried out over the last 60 years to identify the molecules present in the complex mixture obtained by the one pot polymerization of hydrogen cyanide. In this area, as notable, the work carried out by the groups of Ferris, Orgel, Oro, Miller, Minar, and Matthews, and Negro Mendoza. In this slide, you can see a summary of the diverse organisms that have been identified in hydrogen cyanase polymer until 2030. However, Comparing the products obtained under different reaction conditions or different analytical procedures is difficult. In other words, the organic detected in hydrogen cyanide polymers depend directly on the experimental condition of polymerization, reagents, temperature, concentration, initial, initial pH, and so on, but also on the hydrolysis condition as the analytical techniques used for the identification of the compounds mainly DCNS, gas chromatography mass spectrometry, and HPLC, high-performal liquid chromatography. Thus, now I am going to explain several examples to see who the experimental synthetic and water condition affect to the production and to the identification of the single organic compounds in hydrogen cyanide polymers. I am going to consider several water conditions and three interesting groups of compounds, non-canonical nucleobases, tyridines, and thambrosylic acid. And the follower water environments, hydrothermal systems, and water interface, aqueous aerosol, and ice liquid water. For the first case, in order to obtain a proper identification of non-canonical nucleobases, we have developed a specific method for the identification by GCNF MS with a special exception to tag barbituric acid, melanin, and cyanuric acid. We focus our attention in these compounds because they have an important role in pre- RNA world scenario have, have a, proposed a chemical space of a total of 91 heterocycle containing purines, pyrimidines, and tracine to be considered to necrobiosis to the generation of proto RNA polymer. Some of these heterocycle such as cyanuric acid, barbituric acid, melanin, and 2,4,6-3-amino uh, pyrimidine had the capability to form ribonucleoside and supramolecular assemblies. So, in a second step for the development of analytical methods for the identification of triacine and pyrimidines in hydrogen cyanide polymers, we explored the effect of several high hydrolysis conditions in this series of compounds. You can see that some of them are not affected by any of the hydrolysis conditions assigned, but other ones are totally decomposed and also several transpositions as observed. The hydrolysis conditions are especially especially interesting, taking into account the pH gradients present in natural hydrothermal system from pH 2 to pH 12. The hydrolysis condition indicated along this talk can be considered as faster transformation than in natural environments can be carried out. Carry on. Once the analytical methods was validated, and we found out the effect of the hydrolysis condition, we simulate alkylene aerial and subaerial hydrothermal condition 
for the polymerization of cyanide. For this, we use two heating system. A heating block, you can see, to simulate aerial condition and a microwave reactor to simulate the subaerial condition. Moreover, we test the effect of the concentration of cyanide in the use of the n cycle and also to check the effect of the hydrolysis uh, conditions. As a result of this simulation experiment and of the analytical methodology, one can say that alkaline hydrothermal scenarios with a relatively constant pH could be good geological environments for the generation of non-canonical nucleobases using Sanayas as a prebiotic precursor. Our next example is the identification of tyrins in hydrogen cyanide polymers. These compounds are interesting because they have a variety of important biological roles such as pink one carbon transfer cofactor, and redox cofactor. Semoser and Lowenthal were the first authors to propose a hydrocyanic origin of some cofactor. Thus, some years later, we developed an analytical method to identify uh, tyrannies by GCNS. And again, the hydrolysis condition have a significant effect in the identification of those molecular targets. We observe partial oxidation, oxidation or total degradation of the tyrannies after hydrolysis. For this study of the synthesis of tyrannies from cyanide, we carry out two sets of experiments, one using conventional thermal heating and the other one using aqueous aerosol. On the other hand, the reaction products were hydrolysis using acid and neutral condition. In this way, we observed that the aqueous aerosol improved the production of tyridine from cyanide when moderately basic hydrolysis conditions were used. In the development of the third sample, we have the glycylate scenario in mind. In this hypothesis, the glycylic acid and its formal dimer are suggested to be the central starting material of a chemical constitution of a possible primordial metabolism, serving as a starting reagent for the formation of sugar, amino acids, pyridines, and constituent of the reverse tricarboxylic acid cycle by compatible reaction with the constraint of prebiotic chemistry. In the glycylate scenario, the stain compounds is again the a hydrogen cyanide. Therefore, in a third sample of identification of single organics in hydrogen cyanide polymers, we wanted to find glycylic acid and other carboxylic acid of interest for the glycylate scenario. For that, we carry out a total of 32 experiments. We analyze the reaction product after hydrolysis condition, and then we made a statistical analysis of the old data. A summary of this work, we observed that cyanide reaction led to the generation of several carboxylic acid among them gliosylic acid and other carboxylic acid implicated in the reverse tricarboxylic acid uh, cycle, especially, especially when aqueous aerosol are present. This experimental approach gave support to the glycolate scenario and also show how aqueous aerosol significantly improved the, the generation of, of polar organics. Additionally, we explore other alkaline hydrothermal conditions of hydrogen cyanide polymerization, but in this case, in the presence of mineral, and again, we analyze the reaction produced by GCNS after several hydrolysis conditions. We identify several monocarboxylic 
acid with more than six atoms carbon. That's it. We detected fatty acid. Again, the hydrolysis conditions have significant efforts in the analytical result of the samples. Finally, to close this section, one more example of one post reaction of hydrogen cyanide polymerization. In this case, under freezing uh, condition, several reactions were carried out using freezing tau cycle or to stand the temperature below zero Celsius degree. As in the other case, the reaction product were uh, analyzed by GCNFs. The statistical analysis of the all analytical data indicated that the ice environments, in particular water ice interface, may be a good place to develop a complex organic chemistry for one carbon sources as simple as cyanide. In particular, the formation of carboxylic acids among the glycolic acids was improved for the presence of free tau cycle and UV radiation. Here, here, there are some the new organic compounds identified by your research group in one pole reaction from hydrogen cyanide in the last, in the last 10 years. It's important to indicate that the identification of those organic compounds is the is directly related to the hydrogen cyanide polymerization conditions, to the hydrolysis condition of the reaction products, and to the analytical methods used. It must be said that in the very complex organic matrix obtained in one post synthesis using cyanide, we will only find those compounds we are looking for. That is, we need to develop analytical methods for the target of molecular groups. Therefore, our feeling together with the previous detection of other important biomonomers indicated that, that the hydrogen cyanide may be a key compound in the first step of the primeval evolution of the protometabolism and informational system. Up to here, one step hydrogen cyanide reaction and the analysis of the complex mixture obtained in spontaneous polymerization processes. Beyond of these experiments, nowadays several authors are using hydrogen cyanide as main compound in other totally different approaches to explain the growing of molecular complexity and the prebiotic synthesis of bioorganic. We are going to see some examples. Also, considering complex mixture, Farenbach studied a continuous reaction network that produced RNA components from an aqueous mixture of sodium chloride, ammonium chloride, phosphate, and hydrogen cyanide as the only carbon sources. The reaction network is driven by a combination of gamma radiolysis and drive down. In this world, several RNA components are uh, detected. Krishnamurti proposed the prebiotic production of alpha amino acids via identoin from butcher's bird reaction using alpha keto acids and cyanide, as well as the prebiotic formation of orato from a glyoxylate. On the other hand, Krishnamurti suggests to the cyanide as reducing agents is possible protometabolic processes where again gliosilic um, oops uh, well uh, processes where again gliosilic acid has a steering role. In third, Sutherland proposed a heterotrophic origin of lice consistent with the geological constraint of the early earth. Again, hydrogen cyanides plays a dominant role in this hypothesis in acyanosulfidic chemistry. In this hypothesis, a common origin of RNA proteins and lipid precursors is proposed having the, a, having the hydrogen cyanide a principal role. In this hypothesis, under the geological constraint of the early air, 
and in a meteoritic impact scenario, atmospheric, atmospheric hydrogen cyanide could be concentrated in the form of ferrocyanide. Then, through several descomposition reactions, soluble cyanide would be able to give several bioorganic and related compounds. Several years before to the Sutherland proposal, we saw that ferrocyanide will be produced easily in Miller's style experiments using a spark discharge. Uh, you can see it. Um, methane as carbon sourcing and aqueous aerosol from iron water solution. In this experiment, we observed the formation of several amino acids and other organics, but also we collected a blue solid. The X-ray diffractogram and the infrared spectrum of this solid indicate that Prussian blue was formed. Moreover, there are natural sources of ferrocyanide. For example, it has been reported the presence of ferrocyanide in hydrothermal system as well as in methylenes. Thus, the next question will be, is it possible to obtain organics from ferrocyanide? And the answer, again, is yes. The synthesis of amino acids from ferrocyanide has been demonstrated by experiments with aqueous aerosol using UV radiation and <clears throat> under dry conditions by mechanochemistry processes, in both cases, taking into account the Strecker synthesis. Moreover, it is possible to decompose ferrocyanide by thermal processes under alkaline conditions to give amino acids via enantoins. All the experiments so far indicated correspond to simulation experiment of the early Earth. However, as I said at the beginning of the talk, hydrogen cyanide can be found on, on extraterrestrial bodies. This is the case of Titan. The reactivity of hydrogen cyanide could rise, give rise to the molecular complexity observed in the atmosphere of Titan. Hydrogen cyanide polymer could form part of the Titan tollings. We will see that the emergent properties suggested for the Titan tollings have been observed in some hydrogen cyanide derived polymers. In this line of the terrestrial origin of the hydrogen cyanide, several experiments have been carried out to understand its reactivity in the interstellar medium. In this particular case, from a net hydrogen cyanide in the presence of several mineral surface. Please note that so far I have only given a sample of hydrogen cyanide chemistry from an experimental point of view. All the experimental data reported tell us that hydrogen cyanide chemistry is highly complex. This experimental result has also led to different computational approaches as it with some uh, here indicating again a very complex system. In addition, other computational approaches are driving to explain the first step of polymerization of the hydrogen cyanide, that is the formation, the formation of the oligomers. Beyond of the interest of the hydrogen cyanide chemistry in the studies about the origin of light, nowadays hydrogen cyanide derived polymer has paid great attention in material science. In the probiotic synthesis that I have explained, both the soluble and the insoluble uh, fraction are analyzed. But also in this type of experiment, a third phase is, uh, is observed. This is a field that is attached to the walls of the reaction, Oops. of the reaction vessel. This property as quoting or the hydrogen cyanide derived film was first taken in, con in consideration by Thyssen to development of protective coatings with potential biomedical uh, application. 
thus by immersing the item to be coated directly into a water solution containing the trimmer or the hydrogen cyanide amino malonotrite trial after several hours at room temperature, the item turns um, dark. This method is effective for coating various materials and the thickness of the coatings depends on the reaction time. This author has demonstrated the biocompatibility of the amino manolytic trice based things using multi multiple uh, tests and methods. So in this work, this and another group have reported several papers about the potential application of the amino manolytic based coatings in biomedicine due to the capacity of the amino manolytic trice to produce biocompatible films. And also, the potential of this coating has been studied to develop filtrate on um, membranes. Moreover, a uh, ball modify electrodes using amino manolytic solution, enhancing the redox properties. Field thickness and um, morphology varied with the reaction time. Using the uh, DPPase methods as, a, as an standard antioxidant assay, both tested the antioxidant availability of this film inspired in prebiotic chemists. On the other hand, we also have observed the great potential of the hydrogen cyanide derived coatings as protective materials against oxidation. In this case, we immerse uh, uh, parites, uh, iron sulfur, in a hot water solution of cyanide. Of cyanide. Surprising, no oxidation of the parite surface was observed by uh, X ray photoelectron uh, microscopy. So it was covered quickly by a thin cyanide based uh, film. Additionally, down uh, polymers synthesized using the tetramer of the hydrogen cyanide, the amino manolori tri down, were successfully used to modify uh, electrodes. These polymers were synthesized under dry conditions in bulk, mimic early earth thermal environments. And the resulting black solids uh, like this, resembles carbonitrides. Electrodes modified with damp polymers present good redox properties, especially those synthesized by smell polymerization. These modified electrodes demonstrated promising potential as a biosensor. All the experiments so far indicated correspond to simulation experiment of the early Additionally to this work, we tested, sorry, okay. Additional to this work, we tested the effect of the air in this wood polymerization uh, of dam. No significant difference were found between the dam polymer synthesizer under anoxic or air condition. However, we can observe directly that during these thermal processes under anoxic or air condition, Hydrogen cyanide and ammonia are um, delivered to the environment. If, um, if hydrogen cyanide is condensated, a secondary process of polymerization can be observed, as you can see in this video. This is hydrogen cyanide, guys. An ammonium, then you can see the condensation and uh, lately the, the secondary poly polymerization processes. Or a hydrogen cyanide also can be trapped in the presence uh, of ferrous salt to give uh, ferrous cyanides. The down polymers, the down polymers. Um, 
the hydrogen cyanide polymers and the ferrous cyanides are easily differentiated by their uh, infrared spectra. One step beyond, beyond, we also tested the hydrothermal polymerization of done under subaerial condition. In this case, we assess the formation of submicron uh, particle with electrochemical uh, vanguard similar to those of inorganic uh, semiconductor. This result has interesting prebiotic implication, so this type of particle could notably enrich the chemical space enable the discovery of new proteobiological reaction networks due to their potential as catalyzer and photocatalyzer. Note that the morphological properties of the hydrogen cyanide uh, derived polymer can be modulated by the reaction condition. And that the shake down polymer exhibits catalytic properties for both hydrogen uh, peroxide reduction, as previously as commented, and for the thermal decomposition of a monoperchlorate recently uh, described. Therefore, this current result encouraged to explore the chemical space of the hydrogen cyanide derived polymer under the point of view of the material science to develop new multifunctional materials, but also from new perspectives in prebiotic chemistry beyond of the production of biomonomer or relative compounds. Finally, take home message. The interest for the hydrogen cyanide uh, prebiotic chemistry is growing in the last uh, year. Hydrogen cyanide is a ubiquitous molecule in the universe. The hydrogen cyanide chemistry is very complex. Hydrogen cyanide may have played a key role in the rise of the early protometabolic system. And hydrogen cyanide chemistry is inspiring a new generation of multifunctional uh, material. After a lot of information, please, if you have any question or comment, do contact me by email. Thank you for your attention.